How to make a feather flag banner mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. First open your quick selection tool from the toolbar. And click and drag over the feather flag to select it. Now press Ctrl J to cut the flag from its background. Then click on the adjustment layer icon, then create a new curves. Click on the clip to layer icon. Hold the Alt key, and drag this rightmost slider to the left, until you see the white lines like so. Select the two layers by holding down Shift key. Then right click on it, and convert it to Smart Object. Let's name it, Feather Flag. Go to Image. Adjustments. And open your Levels window. Drag the top left slider to the right, and you can also drag the right slider to the left to add contrast. Go to Filter. Blur. And Gaussian Blur. I'll make the radius, 4 pixels. To save it to your folder, just go to File. And save as, or save a copy. I'm going to name this, Displacement. And from this drop down menu, choose PSD file format. Then press Save. Now delete this smart filters. Make one copy of it, by pressing Ctrl J. Name the copy, Highlight and Shadow. Now let's disable this top layer first. Select the feather flag or layer below. Then from the toolbar, select the rectangle tool. And click and drag to draw a rectangle. Right click of this shape layer, and convert it to smart object. Double click on this, and rename it, place design. Go to layer. And create clipping mask. Now double click the thumbnail to place your design. Just go to the file. Place embedded. And place your second image. Adjust the size and position. Hit enter once you're satisfied. Let's go back to the file. And choose save. And then close the document. Now go to filter. Distort. And displace. I'll make the horizontal and vertical scale, 10. The displacement map, stretch to fit. And the undefined areas, wrap around. Then press OK. Open your displacement PSD file, that you saved earlier. And change the blending mode of this layer from normal to multiply. Let's enable the highlight and shadow or this top layer. Change the blending mode from normal to soft light. I'll decrease the opacity all the way to 50%. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.